Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Today we are going to be looking at two legends that could potentially be super valuable in rank that people are overlooking. Now, this is going off of the Apex Legends status.com meta sheet. Now, I need to give some information first about how this works so that there aren't any sort of misconceptions here. What this does is take a look at the top, I believe, top 100 predators. Yes, it takes a look at the top 100 Apex Predators, right, in the game. It calculates all of their matches and determines their play rate and win rate across all of the legends that they pick. So, this isn't the win rate and pick rate of every legend in the game. It only counts the games that the top 100 Apex Predators have played in rank. So, the data isn't completely accurate because, as you can see, some legends have hardly any games played. Like, Rampart has only had 379 games played out of, you know, when you consider the top 100 Predators, they're not really going to play Rampart. But it gives you a good idea of who the top 100 Predators are playing. And more importantly, if there's any sort of secret picks here that are doing better than average. So, if we go to the top, you can see. Horizon has a ridiculous 27% pick rate across all games recorded for the top 100 Apex Predators so far. 27% of those have been from the perspective of a Horizon. And the win rate is 46.8%. However, if you look at Sia, his win rate, no surprise, is higher considering how much potential his ultimate and passive and even tactical give him. This is really important for a map like Kings Canyon where third parties are really overwhelming, right? So, Seer's win rate is obviously just that little bit higher than Horizon's because the value of having a Seer on the team, in my opinion, is more important. But I wanted to take a look at the two legends that have an extremely high win rate percentage. So if you can see, the average seems to be just under 50%. But then, there's two that stand out. You may have spotted them already. Watson with 53.5% and Crypto, Crypto with 59% of games. Now, keep in mind, this is out of only 4,000 games for Crypto and only 2,000 games for Watson. So there's not quite enough data to really say for sure if these legends are super valuable in ranked. But if you take a look at this here, uh, you can see uh, the data is a bit more accurate. However... This is still quite surprising when you consider uh, Lifeline, Ash, Gibby have a similar amount of play rate, but the win rate percentage of these legends is far lower, right? You'd expect Gibby to be a lot higher considering how meta he's been in the past. So why does Crypto... Let's talk about Crypto first and then we'll get to Watson. Why does Crypto have a 59% win rate? That's massively higher than every other legend in this list. Well... I think if we can really take this data and suggest that he does have a higher win rate than average, uh, I think that it may be due to King's Canyon, firstly. Being able to have a drone that can scan the beacon remotely gives you a lot of freedom to quickly know where the position is, and rotating early on King's Canyon is really important, and it kind of actually ties into why Watson's so useful, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, I don't necessarily think there's any part of his kit besides that that really suggests why he has a high pick rate. I think it's just the remote ability to revive players, respawn, it's not revive, respawn players, get their banners and check beacon. Which gives you a little bit more survivability when your teammate is almost dead, right? If you can come back from an almost dead situation because of Crypto's abilities, that may suggest why some of those potential losses actually end up being a win. Now, Watson on the other hand... I don't really understand in the early game why Watson would do so well. She has quite a small hitbox, um, but that doesn't really necessarily suggest anything. Um, but I think that it may be to the fact that if you play Watson as a pro player, you're probably thinking about setting up for positioning and placements late game so you can set up defensive situation, right? If we go back to Season 2 ranked, all the way back in Season 2, Watson was the only legend that had like a hundred, you know, like what, 90 to 100% pick rate in ranked because you needed to get placements by using a Watson in a building and setting up fences. It was Kings Canyon only back then, so it's the perfect Watson map because there's buildings in almost every end game at this point. You know, some of the uh, end games at the top of the map don't have buildings, but everywhere else, pretty much you're going to have a building or, you know, somewhere where you can use your offensive effectively. So, 
Whoever takes Watson is probably thinking straight off the bat, like, I need to get placements, I need to know that endgame ring and rotate there as soon as possible. And Watson and Crypto both serve that role really well, right? Crypto literally gives you that ring information without you putting any pressure to, you know, scan the beacon uh, and potentially take damage. You can do it remotely with the drone. Um, so it's almost like this play style of having the end game location on the top of your mind and just focusing on that which may increase your win rate in ranked. Now, today we have two games, one with Watson, one with Crypto, one is in ranked and one is in unranked. I thought we'd just play these two legends considering this case. Um, I do think if you focus, it doesn't really matter what legend you're playing, it's more about the playstyle. If you focus on getting that end location, setting up there as soon as possible, it will boost your win rate. So let's get into the gameplay. Oh, there was somebody here. I'm gonna just throw an aid. Where are they at? Yeah, there is another squad over there. Not as much. Not over there. Alright. Oh, there's two squads in there right now. Where are they at then? That's a that's a grenade if I've ever seen one. Over here. Okay, nice job. And for the big MP, it's gonna happen. Hit them all. I'm good to go. Throwing out stuff. Throw my grenade out. Oh, you're right. Going straight in. Okay, give me a sec. What? I don't want to go up. I want to go down. I want to go up. I don't want to go down. Right here. Not so fast. Time to bind you. Getting my eyes in the sky. 
Where am I at, dude? Yeah. Why'd you leave your friend like that? Holy! <laughs> Probably in the train, to be honest. Probably in the train, it's just, uh, in the tunnel. It's my guess. Let's find out. Why are they be hiding there, though? Really? Yep, they're there. Drop the kill package, signaling my drone Now. Okay. Where are these guys at? Get on my ground here, to be honest. Why did they re pick that? Crap is low. Whoa, why is everyone running around with these charged sentinels right now? Holy. I 
Okay, push, 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 let's go. Yeah, if you want to try and take part in this place and get in cover here, it'd be a great example of Watson's power. Ready for it. Above one above us here. Let's go back over here. I'm in mean, his squad, so let's just back out. Uh, yeah. Let's move over here. We can kind of rotate through here, I believe. Let's see if it's possible. This way. Contact with hostile. 
Oh dear. Well, that's nuts. All right, unfortunately, we couldn't win that one. But if we set up for the late game ring a little bit earlier, maybe we could have. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know, and I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio!